all of this looks like it takes a few days longer because we're going around the sun in the same direction that's rotating. So from our perspective, it looks like sunspots take not 25 days, but more like 28 to go around the equator and more like 35 to go around the, uh, the poles. But that's because we're moving along in the same direction that the sun is spinning. So that, that, that gives us a false sense of uh, how long it takes the sun to rotate. We're so familiar with the sun. It sounds, you know, almost cliche to say that, but, you know, this orb in the sky that we see every day, we're fortunate enough to have special telescopes that we can look look at it in these wavelengths that we've been talking about. It's quite easy to forget, though, Bob, that the sun is a star, our local star. So how does it measure up in comparison to other stars that we've studied? Is it particularly special? Is it run of the mill? Is it no, big, it's, pre it, it's pretty average. It's pretty average. Most stars are lighter weight than the sun and dimmer than the sun. So the, the sun is a, a, a little bit brighter than average. Only about 13% of the stars in our galaxy are like the sun. We say spectral class G. That indicates a white star. The sun is really uh, pure white. I know some textbooks say that it's yellow. And from the surface of Earth here, look at the, the photograph. It certainly has a lemony yellow appearance. But uh, in truth, it's a white star. Uh, astronauts and uh, high-altitude balloonists 